Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Open Web UI on Proxmox. Installation will be done in an Ubuntu VM inside Docker engine. There are other alternatives on how to install it on Proxmox, but this is the way I prefer because I can give PCI pass through to the Ubuntu VM and then I can allow everything in that Ubuntu VM to use that same GPU. Open Web UI is one of the most popular open source projects to give a ChatGPT-like user interface when running large language models on your home lab or other on-premise solution. The Open Web UI page links to the GitHub project here. It's an open source project and on this page you can find the installation instruction and there's also a view of what the user interface looks like. Open Web UI can connect to OpenAI compatible APIs and it can also connect to Olama and I think the most popular way of running it is with Olama where you can run open weights LLM models. Open Web UI also supports RAG out of the box, which is real nice. This enables you to upload documents there and uh, query the documents content. In the how to install section, there are different options on how to install, but for me, the easiest way is with Docker and let's scroll down here and we can see the different options. So if Olama is on your computer, you use this command. And there's, if Olama is on a different server, there's a command for that where you can point it to a, a different URL. And then there's to run Open Web UI with NVIDIA GPU support. Uh, you are using the G, uh, GPUs all command. And then there is for API usage the way of installing it. And then there's with bundled Olama support. Since we don't have Olama yet installed, I think this way of installing with the bundled Olama support is a really handy one. And then there's with GPU support or with CPU support. So since we have a GPU on this Proxmox machine and we have already passed it through to the Ubuntu VM, we're going to use this approach. So let's quickly go through the command, what it actually is doing. So here we have the copy paste of the command and here we have a commented breakdown of the command. So it will map the port 3000, the container port 8080, which is running Olama, or it's running the web UI. And then the GPUs all will give access to all available GPUs. Well, my case, it will be an NVIDIA GPU. Then we have two commands for mapping a folder from the host. Uh, one is for the Olama, um, where it will store the LLM files, the open weight files. And the other one is for settings and history for the web UI. Uh, these uh, folders, they will go to the default docker volume folder and then we have a name for the container and we have restart always so that it will start if the machine boots up if you don't have that uh, it will by default start up and you would need to manually start the container and then we have still a pointer to the image which has uh, olama included in the package the Proxmox uh, VM running Ubuntu is here. We could do it via console here, but I prefer to use Putty. If you need help with installing Ubuntu or Docker on the Proxmox machine, check the link down below in the description where I have a video showing how to do that. So here in Putty, well, let's first run this command showing that we actually have passed through the GPU to the this Ubuntu VM. If you need help with passing the uh, doing doing the PCI pass through, um, 
please leave a comment. I don't have a video currently about that, but it's not that hard to do. The few commands you need to run to do the PCI pass through. And there are other videos explaining it. Okay, let, let, let's next proceed with the installation. So let's use the command as is from here with Olama bundled. Go into putty and run the command. Well, yeah, okay, we need to prepend it with sudo. And it didn't find the image locally, so it's downloading the image first. Doesn't take very long, a few gigabytes. While the installation is running, we can check the rest of the guide. So here we can see after installation, you can access Open Web UI at localhost 3000. Well, since we didn't install it on the local machine, we installed it in Ubuntu. We just need to use the Ubuntu VMs P instead of localhost. Okay, now the command completed successfully and the container should be running. To check, I like to use Portainer. So here in Portainer, we can see that Open Web UI is up and running. It's healthy and it's published in port 3000. If you don't have Portainer installed, you can check down below my Docker and Portainer installation video. Now with the container running, we can go to port 3000 on the Ubuntu VMs IP and we can see the get started page. So let's click on get started and it will ask for creating the first account. So let's do that. So after filling in the details, we can press create account. That's actually not an existing email, but we can still create an account with it. And then let's just say, okay, let's go. To get started with Open Web UI, you will need to download some models. I already downloaded a few here, but there's a search for model drop down here. So you could type in the model name here directly, like Mistral 7B or something like that. But there's also another way to actually see what models you could download. Let's go into the controls. Sorry, I mean, let's go into the settings from here. And under admin settings, you will find a place where it says models. And in here, we can see that you already have downloaded a few models, but there's the manage models button on the top here. You won't have any models to start with. So here you will see the, well, this is the internal Olama URL and uh, pull a model from olama.com and uh, then there's the delete models option here where you can delete models which you have already downloaded. The access available models names for downloading click here. So let's go check out some models. Let's look at some popular ones like for example uh, DeepSeek R1 there's a really small one, 1 1.5 billion parameters. So let's try that one because it will be fast to download. So let's just copy the name here. We can see the size is 1.1 gigabytes. And then let's go back here and we can enter the, or copy paste the, paste the model name here and then just press the download button. And you will see that it started the download. To make sure it's using the GPU, let's go back to command line here in, in Putty and let's insert this command watch dash n1 nvidia dash smi and with this we can see that the utis utilization of the gpu is currently zero percent and none of the gpu memory is used and we can see the temperature of the gpu so going back here i think the model download completed yeah we have now three models, DeepSeek R1, 1.5 billion parameters is also downloaded. Let's go back to new chat and here we can now select the model. Let's try the one which we just downloaded. And let's say, please write a poem 
of thousand words. Hit enter. This is a thinking model, so it's a bit slower, but it was actually. Hmm. I don't think this is a thousand words. Doesn't look like that. Wanted to do something which takes a bit longer because now digitalization is again at zero. But we do see that it loaded the model into memory and we can see 1.6 gigabytes of memory being utilized. And now we can see that this is loaded, this model. But let's try to load the Mistral model as well. And let's ask the Mistral model the same. Same command, and we can see it's the bigger model, so it takes a bit longer. And we can see GPU utilization is at 97 or was at 97, it's already completed. And we can also see that now we have two models loaded in memory. This GPU has 8 gigabytes of memory, it's using quite a bit of it already now. So, this is a really nice way of running local. AI models, local LM LMs. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.